Hello everybody, this is Kian Dada Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. For sure, you have heard of smart thermostats. Major benefits of using them are controlling them remotely by smartphones, minimizing cost of energy so you save money and they are compatible with other smart devices so you can enjoy benefits of integrations. In today's video, I'm going to build a smart thermostat with ESP development board in Home Assistant running ESP Home. Building a smart thermostats, there are two models, single point and dual point. Single modes are used only for heating or cooling. Dual modes are used for heating and cooling system. We will cover both of them during this video. Before continuing the video and starting to program our development board, make sure your ESP board is integrated with Home Assistant. If not, watch this video. In order to program our ESP development board in Home Assistant, navigate to Supervisor on the left panel. Click on ESP Home add-on. In this page, select Open Web UI. In this video, I'm using ESP32 development board. This is the YAM file of my board. By clicking on edit, we can edit its YAM file, then install it on the board. At the bottom of the file, below the captive portal, I paste the codes related to defining thermostats. Let's go through the lines. Building a thermostat, we need a temperature sensor measuring a value, I mean the air temperature. And the controller will try to keep this value within a range defined by the set points. To do this, the controller can activate devices like a heating unit and or a cooling unit to change the value observed by the sensor. These highlighted lines are related to measuring temperature with NTC sensor. There is a separate video about measuring temperature. You can watch it on the top right corner of the video. A constant voltage supply to the NTC sensor causes it to heat up and therefore creates unreliable temperature values. So it's recommended to only supply the NTC sensor during the actual measurement. To do this, we don't supply voltage divider with 3.3 volt instead we use a GPIO pin. This GPIO pin will be switched high only during the measurement, so preventing the sensor from heating up. In our example, I use pin number 32 and connect it to top side of the voltage divider. These lines are related to interval switching GPIO32 on and off. I set it to 30 seconds. You can set it to 60 seconds. These highlighted lines are related to defining thermostat. As you see, the category is climate, platform is thermostat. Let's go through the lines. Visual. Here we define minimum temperature and maximum temperature thermostat can work. So I have set our temperature to work from 0 to 80 degree. This is the temperature step using set points. Name, I named the device thermostat. Sensor, I'm using temperature 1. Temperature 1 is the ID of temperature sensor, here. Let's talk about default settings. These configuration items I highlighted determine default values the thermostat controller should use when it starts. Default mode, I set it to cool. This defines the default climate mode the controller should use if it is unable to restore it from memory. This item can be set to off, which is set to it by default, heat, cool, and auto. 
These lines are related to setting default target temperature low and high. At least one of them must be defined. These lines are related to the time thermostat acts. I set it to 5 seconds. It's better to give it more time. Cool action, heat action, idle actions. These are related to automations of thermostat. In cool action, we define for cooling what happens. In heat action, we define for heating what happens. In ideal action, we define what happens. So, we define two switches. One for heating using GPIO 15. The other for cooling using GPIO 16. Therefore, in cool action, the cooling GPIO must be set to on. In heating action, the heater GPIO must be set to on. And in idle action, both heater and cooling must be set to off. The last part is about controller behavior and hysteresis. In addition to the set points, hysteresis values determine how far the temperature may vary from the set points value before an action is triggered. They are set to 0.5 degree by default. Using heat deadband, heat overrun, cool deadband and cool overrun, we can define them. Heat deadband. The minimum temperature differential before engaging heat. Heat overrun means the minimum temperature differential before disengaging heat. Cool deadband means the minimum temperature differential before engaging cooling and cool overrun means the minimum temperature differential before disengaging cooling. The file is ready to be installed on the ESP development board. I click on install, select wirelessly. Wait till installation completes. Installation is completed. I click on stop. Let's reset our ESP development board integration in Home Assistant. I navigate to configuration, then select integrations. Select ESP32, click on three dots, delete it. Add it again by clicking on add integration, searching ESP home, selecting it, entering the IP of my development board. Click submit, finish. Okay, ESP32 is added. It has one device, two entities. This is the device. Let's go to overview page. I add the thermostat to overview page by clicking on three dots on the top right corner of the display. Click on edit dashboard. Then select add card. Look for thermostat among the cards. Select my thermostat, click save. Let's move it to the up. This is thermostat. This is my ESP development board. I use two LEDs indicating heating, this one, and cooling systems. Have in mind that in order to connect the ESP development board to your heating and cooling system or heating or cooling system, you have to use relays. Watch the video related to it. You can find it in description. About the wiring of the temperature sensor, you can watch the related video. The thermostat I defined is dual mode. As you remember, I set the default mode to cool and it is set to cool. Using Home Assistant UIs, you can set the thermostat to off, cool, heating, and both heating and cooling. You can change set points. Let's set the thermostat to heating. 
you see the color change to orange okay my current temperature is 31 the set point is 36 to 44 I set the minimum temperature to 26 heating is off thermostat is idle let's increase the set point the lower set point to to 36 the heating is set to on as you see the LED is turned on and thermostat showing heating let's test the cooling I click on cooling icon the color changed to blue let's set the temperature you see the thermostat is ideal and both LEDs are off I decreased the temperature it's showing cooling and the LED related to cooling is set to on activating this icon both cooling and heating are active now let's talk about single point thermostat I navigate to supervisor select ESP home click on open web UI and open YAM file by clicking on edit for defining single point thermostat we have to define only heating or cooling temperatures so if we want to create or build a single point thermostat related to heating we do not need cooling options so this line these lines and these lines all lines related to cooling are extra you can delete them for defining a thermostat for cooling system all lines related to heating actions must be deleted so these lines are extra heating options must be removed let's create a heating thermostat so I delete lines related to cooling I do not it okay I click on install wait till installation completes installation is completed I click on stop let's reconfigure ESP integration I select on configuration or let's say navigate to configuration click on integrations delete ESP 32 at the integration again ESP home entering the IP of my ESP development board submit okay overview you see thermostat has only heating and you can set one set point thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already also you can support me by buying me a coffee I'll see you in the next video.